Welcome back, Retro Babes. Let's jump right into this. If you want to go from this to this while using heat and being able to keep those curls and definition intact, keep on watching. Okay, babes, the main things you're going to need for this look are, of course, heat protectant, a blow dryer with a detailer attachment because Revair hasn't sponsored me yet, and some satin scrunchies as well as some clips. I'm using metal clips, but I would highly recommend plastic or bobby pins. For this look, I am starting on a braid out. You guys can do this with a wash and go or a twist out. I just personally love braid outs because they give that amazing definition. For my method of doing this, I do not separate until the end. So I know we get like happy when we see that cute definition, but try to fight the urge, y'all. I promise you it will work out in the end if you follow these steps. So once I take all those braids out, I mean, she's cute, but she needs some work. There's definitely spaces and parts in the back and the length isn't what I want. So we're gonna fix that. So I like to start off on one half of my hair at a time. I just feel like it goes faster that way. And starting with the back section, I spray that heat protectant because we love our edges. And I like to hold the hair taut and use that blow dryer all the way till almost the end, but we do not want to hit the ends of our hair because then it will mess up the curl pattern. It'll look frizzy. It will look a mess. Just trust me. And I like to just clip it away while it's still warm so it can set in place. For the middle of my hair, I'm going to repeat these same steps, except I'm not going to hold it as taut because one, I just feel like that causes more breakage as well as I really want to keep that curl pattern. So I'll hold it taut and then like loosen it up a little bit if that makes sense. You guys can see what I'm doing. I also forgot to mention that I like to take small sections when I do this. I don't know why, it just works better for me doing it this way. I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but using this method has been easier, faster, and has helped my hair grow better than the regular banding method. And look at the difference that made. Amazing. Here I'm showing you guys how I don't tug. I just release it a little bit so you can see that curl pattern and I apply the blow dryer. I also forgot to say I set this on medium heat because my hair is already dry and we're not trying to straighten it, just stretch it a little. Just giving credit where credit's due, I originally got this idea from Natural Rain. The only difference is I like to clip my hair down while it is still warm. I feel like it makes it easier to put my hair in a low pony, which is what I usually do on my first day wearing it out. So for the top sections of my hair, I like to focus more on the root to the middle of the head. I don't like to go all the way down because my hair is in layers and if I did that, it would be way too stretched and I would lose that amazing definition that we worked so hard for when we did the braid out. Focusing on the roots also helps smooth it down. Like look at that and I didn't use any product in my head. I don't like using gels or anything heavy. I just like to pull my hair back very easy, very low maintenance. Every time I do this style, I'm always so shocked at how much of a difference it makes, y'all. And it just makes it so much easier for styling throughout the week. So I always like to put the half that I already did into a little pony and clip it away just so it stays in place while I work on the second half. Same rules apply for the back section. We're gonna work mainly going from root almost all the way to the ends, but we're gonna leave the ends alone so we still have that nice curl pattern. And then for the middle, we're gonna do it loosely, not too tight because we still wanna keep that curl pattern intact. Definition is most important to me. And then for the top, we're focusing mainly on the roots to the middle of the hair shaft. I'm not so much of an edges girl anymore, but I really love to do my little signature squiggly, I guess you could call it, or sometimes it's a circle in the middle of my forehead. I don't know, I'm just a spiritual girl and it just represents my third eye and all. Okay, so these are the results so far. Mind you, we still have not separated our hair. I, on my first day, like I said, like to do a low pony. I don't like to add any product, a loose pony. And then I just add the two pieces in the front and it just looks so cute, so sleek, and it was so easy. I love easy hairstyles. 
but now we can start to separate our hair so i like to go in with the big chunks and separate those first and fluff it out as i go and then after i take a step back and look at how my hair is looking i can separate further like i said for the first day i like to control the frizz because you guys my hair gets big really big very fast which nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that but just today i was not going for that look and it can get a real tangle mess if it's too big too soon there's just something so therapeutic about separating your hair i just i don't know y'all i love it and then you just get to shake it out and see the magic that you've created it really is like three, two, one, presto. She has arrived. Look at the definition, you guys. You can't see the parts in the back anymore and the front definition is amazing. That's why we only focus on the roots in the front. All I do for the next day here is just take it out of my bonnet, fluff it out, separate any pieces that clump together, give it a good shake and we're done. I love it. This was so much fun, you guys. Thanks for watching.